Hmm. Often sala, aka white soup. This is that soup you bring out when you want to impress somebody or when you're expecting better visitors. I'm telling you, this is that soup you want to serve them because this soup is small but mighty. In fact, it's not even small, but the taste is super duper amazing. It is one of the quickest soup to make in Igbo land okay it doesn't take time at all friends if you want to learn how to make your super tasty offense salad aka white soup then don't go nowhere okay <laughs> hey my friends my name is uzoms the billionaire and you're absolutely welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video trust me you'll get value for your time remember to subscribe if you're new to this page and if you're not new thank you so much for returning every single time i post new recipes thank you so much friends now let's jump right into today's recipe to your pot you want to first add your chicken okay friends you can actually use any protein of choice but but for oven salad you see chicken is perfect for it you can use chicken or catfish those two proteins are really a staple for your oven salad now you not just use any chicken please use those old layer chicken you know those chicken that have coconut head those ones that they take one hour to boil to get soft okay that's the best one for it because the flavor is out of this world even though here i'm using soft chicken but i'll tell you please use those you know old layer chicken and you can even add catfish to this okay you can mix the both of them it is a total bomb oh my god it is it is a burst of flavor friends all i went ahead to do right now is to flavor it up with my yellow and red pepper i combined it together i also went ahead to add seasoning cubes i'm just gonna give this a little bit of mix before going on to add my spice blend friends whatever you do remember to add uziza seeds okay just blend up uziza seeds and add in here this is my personal spice blend okay when i'm ready to share it i'm gonna tell you what it is but it's not 100% necessary for this particular recipe just follow the other things i talked about okay go ahead to add your salt if you use salt and bring this to a mix hey my newbies thank you again for joining remember that i have a couple of previous videos that you've already missed you want to click the link that is showing right now to watch trust me there are a lot of things you will learn okay like your afang soup of a weary and a lot more you want to click to watch and learn cover to steam friends please do not add water at this point chicken has its own liquid you want it to bring it out by that it is also drinking or soaking in all of the flavors that you've already added so please do not add water at first okay now go ahead to add your other protein this food this food really does not take time this particular soup is very quick and easy go ahead to add your oboroko that's your issue oboroko and i love to add my stock flakes now you can go right ahead to add water enough for your soup remember you need to add enough because the next ingredient will need it but then don't go and over add though <laughs> Friends, as you're watching, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button to officially join Uzom's Kitchen. When you subscribe, when you share, and even like this video as well as comment, you're literally supporting Uzom's Kitchen. Friends, I also want to tell you about our playlist on here. Please check our channel and just you know run our playlist through the day to support Uzom's Kitchen. I would appreciate you a lot for it. Okay, thank you.
go ahead to introduce your unsala spice friends when you go to the market just ask your market woman to give you often salad spice okay is there it is already there so you don't need to do a lot for this okay go ahead and add your crayfish you want to be very very generous with this add enough friends just add crayfish okay the beauty and the sweetness of most of our Igbo soups is the intrusion of the crayfish so add the crayfish okay <laughs> now give this a very good mix to combine all of the ingredients the flavors that is going on in there our soup is almost ready but not ready friends what is the best swallow to pair with this particular recipe let me know in the comment section what swallow do you think best goes with your offense salad for me oh i think pounded yam or hot yellow stretchy eba of which i have a vi full video recipe of how to make your stretchy yellow eba at home click the link that is showing right now to watch it is time now to introduce our yam in case you don't know yam is a thickener for your oven salad no you don't use eddy or cocoa yam mm -mm. you don't use the dried on all those other thickness that is not what you use the staple thickener for your oven salad is yam so go and buy your yam chop it to tiny cubes and you want to add it to the soup because the flavor from the yam also adds to the flavor of the soup friends please do not miss it don't use coco yam or don't even go and boil your yam with another pot with another water okay no you want to add it to the soup and allow it to cook this step is so important your oven salad is not oven salad if you do not use yam and if you don't boil the yam with the soup okay i hope you really understand this point now let it cook and get soft enough for blending pounding or whichever way you want to puree the yam When the yam is almost ready or as soon as you add your yam, please go ahead and add your ouya yak. You will find this in the market. Just ask your market woman for ouya yak. It's a very common flavor for, or rather it's a common spice for making pepper soup. Now our yam is ready. You want to take it out please don't go and start eating this yam <laughs> because it is super delicious oh my god i struggled when i mean it was a struggle blending this yam and finishing this recipe it was a huge struggle that is why i don't make offense a lot <laughs> i mean i make it but mm, that struggle of eating that yam is is so much i literally ate almost half of the yam i won't even lie <laughs> okay so you want to blend that and get it ready while you put your dried smoked fish friends whatever you do please make sure you add smoked or fresh catfish to this recipe you see catfish and oven salad they are like brothers and sisters they're like this song that this guy sang um see as we day like beans and rice i will never leave your side <laughs> you guys whenever you're making your offense salad whatever you do please add a form of catfish whether dried or fresh together with the chicken friends when you try this you will come back and tell me don't worry just follow my recipe you guys know i don't cap you know i sabi my work okay so when you try it please come back and let me know okay this to make sure is a bomb mixture you don't want to miss it okay i didn't have fresh catfish so i made sure to add dried catfish now introduce your blended or your pureed um yam you know to serve as the thickener here but friends please note do not add too much oh my god i see people doing or making um yam porridge and say soup no your soup is not meant to be too thick it's meant to be loose enough and thick enough i don't know how to explain but the consistency is not meant to be too thick neither is it meant to be too loose you have to know the right consistency if your offense is too thick my dear you have made yam porridge or yam porridge pepper soup 
you know that um dish that yoruba's call a cook curry i think i don't know if i got it right okay that's what you're making but often seller has to be free enough and not too thick please get the consistency right it is so important if you're not setting don't just add too much just be adding it when the yam dissolves and you notice that it's too it's still too loose add more okay till the consistency is just thick enough now add the star of the ingredients which is your ogiri friends whatever you do oh my god you cannot miss your ogiri it is so important okay now cover to cook and thicken up You can see that the consistency of this soup is free. It is not too loose, neither is it too thick. This is the perfect consistency for your oven salad. Please, friends, don't miss it. Don't let your oven salad be too thick because it is yam you're talking about. So if you're not careful, it's going to be too thick and you've missed the whole oven salad point. The consistency of the soup is so important. Now everything has thickened up properly. I, I still left it to thicken up more and you guys can see how it is right now. All I'm going to do is go ahead and add your Uziza leaf. Friends, you already know I love to cut mine at home. So that's why it is this beautiful. You don't want to add too much. Okay, so just add a handful. Friends, if you want to learn how to cut your veggies at home, I have a full video recipe showing you how to do that in five minutes. Yes, you can cut your veggies at home in exactly five minutes. I mean, less than 10 minutes. So click the link that is showing right now to watch how you can achieve this very easy and simple trust me okay now our soup is almost ready it is so so delicious oh my god friends look at that consistency it is so perfect it is not too thick it is not too loose this is the, like the perfect consistency you know when it gets cold it doesn't cuddle up when your soup is too thick when it's cold it just cuddles up and it's not good okay it still has to be free and just nice oh my god this soup is so delicious and the perfect um recipe or soup to give to your guests your in-laws this is that soup you want to give to them blow their minds with this soup trust me they will heal you eh? it is so easy and simple friends i hope you really love this recipe i hope you've enjoyed watching this please remember to support uzom's kitchen by liking this video by subscribing to our channel by commenting i really love to hear from you if you have questions you can ask me in the comment section i would always come back to answer remember we have a lot of previous videos that you've already missed click the link that is showing right now to watch and blow me kisses okay i love you but jesus loves you most bye